Proto-oncogenes are affected by genetic abnormalities in human cancer. Uh, three forms of abnormalities uh, were involved in this discovery. The first was something known as gene amplification, uh, a focus on a chromosome, the DNA uh, at that locus, uh, replicates several or many times over, sometimes giving rise to uh, little chromosomes that are thrown off and called double minute chromosomes, which then can reinsert into a chromosome and create what's called a homogeneously staining region. This was first observed with a proto-oncogene known as MYC in human cancer cells. The consequence is uh, gross overproduction of the gene product. The second abnormality involved translocation of the sort first described for the Philadelphia chromosome. Translocations of the MYC gene were the first to be seen, and these translocations uh, alter the control of the expression of MYC and again uh, create a gross overproduction of the gene product. Third, uh, single point mutations were discovered in another proto-oncogene known as RAS in human tumor cells. This point mutation con converted the protein to a, a controlled state from a controlled state to a, an uncontrolled state. The protein activity could now run rampant. We now know of several hundred proto-oncogenes that have been implicated in human cancer, several hundred genes of the normal cell that have altered in one way or another uh, can contribute to the genesis of, of, of cancer. Now, the, the, the malady here is exaggerated activity, which we could equate to a jammed accelerator. Formally speaking, it's a gain of function, and it is genetically dominant. You need to have this happen to, to only one of the two copies in the cell uh, for the difficulty to arise. 